Hello Aquarius and welcome to Angelic Ascensions Tarot. I'm brand new to YouTube and I'm absolutely honored to do your July 2017 weekly love reading. I've already shuffled and cut the deck and meditated over the cards. At the bottom of the deck is the Knight of Wands. So there's a definite fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I also say Sagittarius because as I was shuffling the cards, some additional cards wanted to fall out, including the Temperance card. She is in reverse, but uh, she is making herself known. So there's definitely a Sagittarius, which is also clarified by the King of Wands. King of Wands um, can sometimes represent the sign of Aquarius as well. Okay, let's get into it. We've got the High Priestess. So someone is using their intuition this month, this week, about something that's going on. Someone is suspecting that something is up which is further clarified by the Queen of Cups. She's very intuitive as well. She's very nurturing, very caring, and emotionally balanced. But someone is using their intuition, and it's, their intuition is very strong. And it likely had something to do with this uh, Capricorn. Or someone felt tied to a toxic situation. Someone can't let go of a relationship that was toxic. Or this card also speaks of addictions, Codependent behavior. And then there's a lack of closure with the world in reverse. Someone's not standing their ground or they feel paranoid in the situation, Aquarius. King of Wands. I see a lot of, I see some court cards here. I see possibly a mother and a father. So this could have something to do with the home environment. And with that stack of cards that wanted to come out on the side, the Hierophant in reverse made himself known. So we could be dealing with a Taurus, but it looks like there was some type of a divorce or separation that happened. There's definitely a fire sign. I, I'm feeling strong Sagittarius energy. If that resonate, that might resonate with some of you. Five of Cups in reverse. So someone has some losses and disappointments. Someone's crying and upset over something that happened in the past. The Justice card. So this makes me feel like someone is in court, like there's some type of a divorce proceedings going on. Definitely something over money because uh, there's some financial instability. Someone's financially drained in a situation. Or there could be a Libra involved in the situation for some of you. And then we've got the Ace of Swords. So some type of truthful information came out. Um, but someone's not feeling victorious. And then regarding these other cards that fell out, we had the Page of Swords. Um, there's probably some gossip going on regarding the situation. The other cards that fell out are the Four of Cups. So someone might be having a missed opportunity. Someone's offer might be rejected or someone is, is actually giving an offer. I'll go ahead and correct myself. Um, someone is, well, that offer could be rejected because uh, take a look at the, the person depicted in the card. They're not accepting the offer. There could be an offer for an apology, an offer for reconciliation, or maybe um, it's time to make a change and do things differently, this card could be saying. Temperance made herself known, the, the sign of Sagittarius, but she is in reverse. So that lets me know that something, there's some type of imbalance going on in this situation. And it likely has to do with some finances. Finally, the Knight of Cups in reverse. There's someone that's feeling jealous. There's someone that's jealous or moody about something. And let me go ahead and pull some clarifiers and get some answers for you. What is this devil in reverse about? It's pretty self-explanatory, but I feel the need to go ahead and clarify it anyway. Devil in reverse is clarified by the Queen of Wands in reverse. Queen of Wands is a type of diva energy. All right, and again, this could represent a fire sign in Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Queen of Swords can represent um, an air sign. Uh, this could be you, Aquarius, or a Libra, Gemini. 
And when she's in the reverse, she can be very brash, uh, very unconcerned about how her words come across. She, um, or he, um, can sometimes even maybe come off. Okay, so with clarifying the, the devil in reverse, the queen of wands, the queen of wands is a diva type of energy and uh, that's coupled with the queen of swords so this could represent a fire sign and an air sign in your situation fire signs are aries leo sagittarius water signs are, are uh, cancer pisces scorpio but uh, the the queen of swords she does not have a verbal filter she just says whatever is on her mind with no concern about how it affects someone she just speaks the truth so, um, or this could be someone cutting out, cutting someone out, or cutting away the BS. So that clarifies the devil in reverse. Let's clarify this a world in reverse. What is this world in reverse about? The world in reverse. Clarified. There's no. There's a lack of closure because someone found out about some lying, che cheating, sneaky behavior that was going on. And there's a lot of gossip going on about it. But someone can't close and end a situation because they're, they're hung up about this lying, cheating, sneaky behavior that was going on. Okay, I will clarify the Five of Cups in reverse. What is the Five of Cups in reverse about? Five of Cups is clarified by the Knight of Wands. So there is strong fire energy Aries Leo Sagittarius I'm getting strong Sagittarius energy but someone wants to make a passionate offer but someone doesn't know if they want to go ahead and accept that he's a one night stand type of opportunist the knight of wands he's not going to stick around he's around for the night and that's it basically but it looks like someone's stuck in the past Someone might even be moving away. Maybe even a distance away, but it looks like there's some traveling and moving away that's involved in this. Possibly with someone from their past. So someone in this situation is definitely thinking about someone from the past and probably moving away. Secretly. And there's someone that is upset over the loss of someone leaving. Okay, let me clarify this Ace of, Ace of Swords. What is this Ace of Swords in reverse about? Ace of Swords is clarified by the five that, that Five of Wands, so there's definitely some strong wand energy, definitely a fire sign. But there's been a lot of conflict and chaos in the home. A lot of fighting, a lot of uh, competitive, jealous, a lot of jealousy. Probably over someone that's been sneaky because they've, they've got a lot of options. So they might be going around, there might be going, someone going around making um, one night stand offers to several people. <laughs> yeah, Knight of Cups. He is um, a knight in shining armor. The knights, they don't have any intention of sticking around. They're just there for a one night stand type of opportunity. But there's definitely some chaos, there's definitely some, possibly some three party situations going on. Might even be a divorce, I feel like there's a divorce. No, I'm repeating myself, but we got the Hierophant in reverse. 
we've got some financial instability or financial drainage and definitely justice, justice card. Someone might feel like they're getting their justice or this could be a Libra, but I'm feeling like there could be a, a court situation for some of you Aquarius. Let me go ahead and clarify the justice card. What is the justice card about? Show me the justice card, please. Justice card is clarified by the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. So there's definitely some endings on the horizon if they haven't already happened yet. Someone is feeling like they're getting their justice in the situation when the relationship ends. Or there's a divorce happening, but there's there's also a lack of closure. We've got two um, circles coming full circle that that is in the reverse. So something is getting blocked. Someone is not getting some type of a closure, or there could be a, a court situation where it doesn't work out in someone's favor. Queen of Cups, please clarify the Queen of Cups, please. What's this Queen of Cups about? Okay, so we've got one, more than one card again for the Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups is clarified by the King of Cups in reverse. So when I was saying that this had something to do with a home situation, possibly with court, seeing the lawyer here, and I'm seeing the mother and the father. These two are a couple, and I'm seeing that they're not seeing eye to eye. Someone is in court fighting, which is why there might be some type of financial drainage. Might be in court over a divorce situation. And then the other cards that wanted to clarify the Queen of Cups were, was the Two of Pentacles. So there's some type of an imbalance going on have a strong suspicion that someone is being sneaky about having more than one partner, which is further clarified by the Three of Swords. So there's definitely a three-party situation. Somebody was definitely sneaking around, having three-party situations, juggling lovers, being a little bit of a playboy, taking advantage of the multiple people out there that they were juggling. There's definitely more than the three-party situation. There was uh, multiple people possibly out there for, for some of you in the situation, Aquarius. And someone used their intuition and was possibly feeling paranoid about what was going on. Because they possibly weren't sure at first because someone was sneaking around. Probably got away with it for a while, but there might have been some gossip that came around. Or some truthful information that came out about maybe somebody that found out about this. And about this um, sneaky, cheating, lying behavior. And it, it's ending in divorce. Ten of Pentacles wants to clarify the, the Queen of Cups, so there's definite ending. Um, but the pentacles also represent um, earth signs, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. So there could definitely be a fire sign in the situation. But the number 10 at the top of the card represents endings. We've got another ending here. Okay. The next, the following card, number 10 again, endings. Someone feels betrayed and backstabbed. The chariot, we could be dealing with a cancer. A cancer could be in the situation. But someone's moving on. Someone's leaving. Someone is leaving the situation, possibly with someone from their past that, lives, that might live at a distance away. But somebody's definitely moving. Moving forward, moving away, moving on, but with someone from their past, possibly. Two more cards. Or actually, there's three, three more that wanted to clarify the Queen of Cups. Okay, so there was definitely some juggling. Someone had multiple suitors. Someone was feeling like a playboy. 
definitely confirmed that there was a three-party situation, the Three of Pentacles. Three, these three cards alone let me know. Absolutely, there was a three-party situation. There is no way that that wasn't possible. Someone sneaking around. Caused some chaos in the home. Some gossip. Caused an ending to a marriage with the Hierophant in reverse. Or there could be a Taurus in this situation. But there was a divorce. There's some court activity possibly going on. Or it could be a Libra involved in the situation. But we've got some definite endings here. We have, I believe, three number tens. We've got some endings, three number tens. Wheel of Fortune in reverse, which means someone's not completing a cycle. Someone's holding on. Someone doesn't want this to end. Someone, after all of this, is still willing to stick in there and make another offer. And wants to reconcile, reconcile, possibly. Even though they felt backstabbed. Even though there's a definite end to the situation. So if this situation didn't resonate with you, Aquarius, stay tuned for the next spread. I will be doing one more spread in case this didn't resonate. All, all scenarios may not resonate with everyone because... Um, and if, this, if these messages don't resonate with you, feel free to uh, take a look at the videos for your moon rising and ascending signs. Okay, let's see. Aquarius. Spirit, what can you tell me about the sign of Aquarius for the first week of July 2017? And then I wanted to remind you that tarot times are not always, not always happen in real time. Um, there's been times when uh, there may be friends that might be the same sign and one friend might see a scenario playing out before the other one does. But this is going to give you a general overview of what to expect for the month of July. I'll be back next week to do another love reading. I'll be doing these weekly. Okay. Aquarius. Page of Pentacles, the Empress, in reverse. So someone is not wanting to create. Someone is not wanting to um, maybe work together regarding this new offer that, that's coming through. This new offer may be tied to some type of financial stability. The Empress, with the Empress Spring present, that also lets me know that there could be an Aries involved in the situation. Or there could have been a pregnancy. Six of Swords, so someone's got some baggage. Oh, wow. This card wanted to fly out. We got the, the Eight of Cups again, so since we know someone is moving on or moving away. Someone doesn't want to work on this anymore, but someone does. Someone's got a lot, lot of baggage that they're, they're not able to get closure. They're not letting go of the situation. They're still feeling tied, possibly, to this toxic situation. What's going on with Aquarius? The Queen of Swords. So Aquarius, this could be you um, or an air sign. So someone is taking the time to cut away the BS and trim the fat in the situation. And get straight to the facts and down to the truth. Or it's, this could rep, the Queen of Swords could represent other air signs, Gemini or Libra. So I've got several cards here that wanted to come out and make an appearance. We've got the King of Wands in reverse. So there's possible fire sign in this situation, but someone's feeling jealous and insecure. We've got seven of pentacles. 
So someone is thinking about, taking some time to think about something. Maybe concentrating on their money. Seven of Swords in reverse. So there was definitely some lying, cheeky, cheating, sneaky type of behavior going on. And someone's standing their ground or feeling paranoid. Well, let me pull some clarifiers. Spirit, what is this Empress in reverse about? I want to know what she's about. If she doesn't represent a sign of Aries, what, what is she about? The Empress is clarified by the Queen of Pentacles. Both of these women, both of these cards represent a mother. So there's some motherly, there's a motherly vibe that's off balance. There is a motherly vibe that's worried about money, that's feeling, some, that's feeling emotionally and financially drained. And again, there could have, I'm feeling like there could have been a pregnancy or there's a child involved in the situation. We've got mothers, well, we've got two mothers here. And the Empress represents fertility. So it's making me feel like there is possibly a child involved in the situation, a mother and child, um, <clears throat> definitely. The chariot in reverse. There could be, this card represents the sign of cancer, or this could represent that someone is moving away. Moving forward. Maybe contemplating, maybe not making the physical move yet, but maybe just thinking about it. Someone's thinking about moving. Or moving forward. Okay, let's clarify this. This Eight of Cups. What is this Eight of Cups about? Oh, and I'm sorry. Let me uh, before I go on. There's, there's, there was more cards that that uh, came out to clarify the Empress. Page of Wands. So definitely some jealousy. Page of Swords. There could have been some truthful information that came about. There could be some gossip in the situation. Or that could just be some overall immaturity going on. Okay, regarding the mother, or there's some gossip. Okay, this Eight of Cups. Let's find out what this Eight of Cups is about. Okay, give me just one moment. The cards fell on the floor. What well, wanted to clarify the Eight of Cups is the... Uh, the Eight of Cups is the Three of Cups. So someone's moving on because they found out about a three-party situation. Possibly. Someone found out about a three-party situation. What is this Seven of Pentacles about? Seven of Pentacles is about this Four of Cups. So there's a, someone might be taking too long to make a decision. They're taking too long, and there might be a missed opportunity. Or someone is thinking about accepting an offer of reconciliation, possibly. Oh, three-party situation. Someone's definitely sneaking around. For some of you. Okay, let's clarify. Let's go ahead and clarify that Seven of Swords in reverse. What is the Seven of Swords in reverse about? Okay, there was a card that flipped. Give me just a second. Let's see which one flipped around. Okay, I guess not. I'm gonna keep shuffling. Give me just a second. What is the Seven of Swords about? Four of Wands. So there was some sneaky behavior going on at the home front. Likely involved a three-party situation. Maybe even involved a pregnancy. Someone's definitely moving on. 
moving out, moving away. Maybe they haven't said it, but they may be thinking about it. Or maybe someone already did move out. Maybe they're thinking that maybe somebody is thinking about giving somebody a second chance. Let's clarify this um, this nine of wands. What is this nine of wands about? Spirit, show me the nine of wands, please. What is this nine of wands about? Show me, please, the nine of wands. Clarify, please, the nine of wands. Clarified by the nine of pentacles. Strong pentacle energy, earth sign, uh, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. That someone is definitely standing their ground about being independent. But there's also financial drainage going on. The Ace of Swords. Someone came to reality about something. Probably this three-party situation. That's what I keep getting. Someone was being sneaky regarding the home situation. I had three-party situations going on. Someone's standing their ground. And maybe thinking about in being independent. Okay, Aqu Aquarius, let's pull some Chakra Wisdom Oracle cards. Show me what's going on with the Aquarius for the first week of July 2017. What advice can you give for Aquarius for the month of July 2017? Show me Aquarius. Advice for Aquarius for the first week of July 2017. Perseverance. So Aquarius, in spite of this setback that you experienced this month, the advice is to continue to persevere, continue on, continue to put one foot in front of the other. Mysticism. So there was some mysticism involved in the situation. There were some secrets that you had some intuition about, but that didn't get revealed until later on. So the advice is to persevere over the mysticism, post persevere over the mystery, the secrets that came out. Keep going. Don't need them crying over spilled milk. Let's just continue to move forward. Someone had some facades. Someone wasn't being the real, their real self. Someone wasn't revealing who they truly were. But you used your intuition and you cut through all of the mysticism, all of the BS, all of the things that were, that were hidden. You made it through Aquarius. Continue to put one foot in front of the other and continue moving forward. That's the advice for this week. So if you would like a personal reading, go ahead and contact me at angelicascensionstarot at gmail.com. Um, as well, there's more information in the description box. Once again, thank you for all of the likes and subscribes and comments. I appreciate you immensely, and I will see you again next week. Until next time, Aquarius.